Hello learners. In this video, I am going to explain you how to use Moodle for online based lecture courses. So here is the Moodle web page. You need to use a web browser. In the web browser, you can put type guru.nmamit.in. If you are accessing this website from outside the college server, then you require internet access. If you are accessing this particular web address, IP address within the college server, within the college premises connected to the college server, then you not you do not require internet with the local server itself, it will run. Now when you put guru.nmmit.in, you will be able to see this particular web page. Before you log in, you can see the site news or updates that are being put up related to examination or any other important circular. Uh, which are required for the students it will be available here so always make sure that you keep visiting this particular site for the details uh, to keep you up to date okay going ahead in the login page you have to put your login id and password given by the system admin for the first time when you uh, put your password the password whichever is given to you with your usn uh, at uh, nmmid.in email id when you log in, you have a provision to change the password. Ensure that you have changed the password in the first instance and do not give it to anybody else. Okay, here it is. So I have put a USN, particular USN at, uh, with the password. When you log in, you enter the page with your name or USN and uh, you can see the options uh, for the preferences and profile where in uh, under profile you can change your uh, password. Then you when you scroll down you get a lot of courses if whichever courses you are enrolled all those courses you'll be able to see if you're not enrolled in any course you won't be able to see anything now let me go ahead with the one particular course that is environmental studies say that you are enrolled into this particular course and you're able to see then you need to click this to go into this particular course or if you want to go into any other course you have to click that particular course uh, in which you want to go ahead with the studies or exam whatever it is so I'm going to go ahead with the environmental studies with this particular link. When I open, I go into the environmental studies course page. There I can see the course detail. It depends on what is put up uh, in that particular page. So you can see the details in the first uh, header, header section. All the details are put up. Then for in this particular course, uh, general discussion announcements is put up. So any important announcement that are made, it may be made, it may be made under this. So make a habit to watch this particular space. There could be a discussion forum where when you click it, uh, it's like a thread, uh, like a Google forum or any other forum, even Facebook kind of thing. Uh, but here it is, it's within the internal to Moodle. You can put your queries, you can answer queries of others if you know the answer. So you can generate a thread and you can go ahead. Your syllabus is also put up. So you can click this, it opens into a PDF. Okay. Then going ahead. So week wise courses are put up here. So in the first week, you have the video lecture one. So when you click this, it goes to the video lecture. You can watch the video lecture. Then you have a link for quiz. Let me explain one by one. Let me first go to the video lecture. When you click the video lecture, you get the link like this. This is a YouTube video which is embedded here. You need not go to the YouTube. You can watch the video here itself by clicking on the uh, play button. So you can now uh, go forward. You can uh, watch it as you do it in a YouTube. Then going ahead. This is the video lecture. You can view for about uh, the, whichever the time duration it is put up. Then going ahead with the quiz. So when you click on this particular link quiz, you end up with a page where you can uh, click on to the quiz submit, I mean enter into the quiz. When you click on to the enter into the quiz page, you end up with a quiz. You have a question, you have how much marks, right? You can find out whether you answered it or not. The options to tick on the left hand side, all these details. On the right hand side, you will be able to see the boxes. These are the question number. There are four questions here. If it is a timed quiz, you will be able to see a countdown timer over here. So you can toggle between any quiz. You can bookmark the quiz. Those options will be available when you actually do it. Uh, so you can toggle between any uh, question. So let me say that I'm going to uh, go to the question one and I'm going to select uh, answer one. For example, this one, the correct answer possibly. 
then I'll go ahead with the another question uh, maybe option this so I'll just take out uh, some options you could see that it is grayed out those which are answered are grayed out so that's an indicator for you that uh, you have answered that if at all you want to flag it you can flag it whenever you flag it you can see the red color here over here and that means you have kept it pending uh, you will come back later and you will uh, answer that that's a hint for you yourself that you are marking that I'll come to this question later and check it out so once you are done with the quiz uh, you can just try to finish attempt you have to click once you click the finish attempt it will ask again whether you are done and submit yes once you are done you have to confirm that you are done with the quiz so once you complete everything you can see your marks percentage mark the correct answers all the details it will pop up so that's how you go through the individual quiz so whenever it is let out so each week the courses may be let out and the information may come to you through your uh, course coordinator through the email or general information that comes to the class uh, whatsapp group that's it for this video thank you